Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Omid and in this channel I'm talking about voice over IP, open source telephony and all related technologies. Today I want to talk about VoIP Monitor, an open source network sniffer tool that you can use it for troubleshooting and monitoring your voice over IP network. In the first video we will learn what is VoIP Monitor, what is the architecture and how we can use VoIP monitors and sniffers in your VoIP network? What are the VoIP monitor features? And finally, what is the licensing cost for the web UI that you want to use with this sniffer tool? So what is VoIP monitor? VoIP monitor is an open source network packet sniffer with commercial front end for SIP, RTP, RTCP, Skinny, MGCP, and WebRTC VoIP protocols, and it is running on Linux. So, it combines of a sniffer and a UI that reads the information that the sniffer actually saves in the database. In the next slide, you will see the architecture. The sniffer is open source and free. The uh, UI is commercial, and you need to pay license for it. It is running, and it is running on the Linux. VoIP monitor is designed to analyze quality of VoIP calls based on the network parameters, delay variation, and packet loss. That's very important and that's the beauty of the VoIP monitor. Because it's sniffing the packets, you can monitor the uh, quality of the voice. You don't have such a uh, feature in traditional or even modern uh, I can say general monitoring systems such as Negios, uh, such as, uh, for example, Zabbix or uh, even Prometheus or Grafana. Because here it's a sniffing the packets and because it's a sniffing and it supports the RTP and RTCP protocol, it can detect if you have a problem in the voice quality. You know that's very important if you have a large uh, network and if your customer complains that I don't have a voice quality and um, you may not have visibility without this tool. Calls with all relevant statistics are saved in the MySQL database. So uh, when the sniffer works, it saves all the information in the MySQL or I can say better in a MariaDB database. Optionally, each call can be saved the PCAP file with either only SIP protocol or SIP, RTP and etc. As you know, when we do a call, um, we have two major parts, the SIP, the signaling, and also the media, the voice. VoIP monitor can uh, capture both, and then it can save in the PCAP file. The PCAP file, you can open it. If you, for example, you want to troubleshoot, you can just open the PCAP file and see all the information, including the SIP packets and also the RTP. VoIP monitor can also decode a speech and play it over the commercial web UI. So in the web UI that you have, you can uh, decode it and play that. We will see actually an example in the next slides. And this is the uh, and these are the supported protocol: G729, G723, iLibc, Spix, Opus, AMR, and I think much more. VoIP monitor is also able to convert T38 fax to BDF. So if you have a fax over IP in your a network, for example, if you have run a fax system using your free switch or asterisk, uh, then it can capture that packets and convert them to the PDF. Let's start about VoIP, VoIP uh, monitor architecture. Uh, we have a web server that the web UI is running on that, the commercial web UI that you need to pay license for it. We have a database that they are using MariaDB. Of course, you can use MySQL if you have a, uh, or a MySQL cluster or uh, any type of uh, database, MySQL type of database, commercial or open source. And we have sniffers. There are three modes, I can say, of the sniffers. The basic one is that you are installing a sniffer on the PBX or on the SIP, uh, SIP SPC itself. So for example, here I have a Camellio that uh, it's my SIP router and I want to see what's going on there. I want to monitor all SIP packets and uh, see them in the uh, VoIP monitor. 
what you can do, you can install the sniffer exactly on the same Linux machine. This is the easiest way. Of course, it has some downsides because it will use the CPU cycles that your PBX or your C router want to use because they are using the same CPU. It may cause some problems on the high loads. And uh, next one is mirroring a port. Imagine here I have an asterisk and then my network, uh, my asterisk server or my asterisk virtual machine has two ports. Mirror port uh, has two ports. I can mirror that port with my sniffer. So I will install a Linux here, for example, a Debian. I will install the VoIP monitor sniffer and then I will connect the second port of the asterisk directly to my sniffer and then it can get all the packets and um, a sniff it and send it to the database on the MariaDB and then the web server will show them. So this is the second type of a sniffer that we can use. The third part, the third uh, model is actually when you are mirroring your switch port. Here, for example, I have a free switch. It's connected to the uh, it's connected to a switch. It can be Cisco, Juniper, or whatever because all of them are uh, supporting actually mirroring port mirroring. Uh, here you, we install our sniffer in a Linux box and this port and this port are on the uh, mirroring uh, type. So whatever packets we have here, it will be received on our sniffer as well. This is the uh, third method that is very common as well. And uh, usually we use this method for uh, capturing the packets and saving in our MariaDB and then showing it in our VoIP monitor panel. Here was about architecture. Let's go to the VoIP monitor features. Um, main feature, first of all, the supported protocols. As you can see, it supports a wide range of protocols such as SIP, RTP, RTCP, Skinny, MGCP, SSL, TLS, WebRTC, and more. So you can use this solution with open source solutions such as, for example, Asterisk or FreeSwitch or Camellio, or with commercial solutions such as, for example, uh, Cisco, Cisco Call Manager, uh, or Cisco Products, or any other commercial products that use one of these protocols. It supports both UDP and TCP. So you can, uh, for example, if you have run your free switch on uh, TCP, VoIP Monitor is still able to capture the packets and show you the information. Uh, it has different outputs, CDRs, PCAP, WAVE, and PDF facts. As you can see here, it's very, it has a very useful CDR that you can see all the information that the calls that is going through your network. Uh, pay attention, it's not just one system because if you have, for example, systems such as, for example, free PBX or Fusion PBX, you already have the panel that will give you the information of, uh, <coughs> sorry, will you get the information of the CDR? But uh, here you have a centralized place, you have a central place that you can get all the packets and you can have all the information in one central CDR. Also, you can export the PCAP files and also you can listen to the WAV files or you can export them. Uh, you can listen and you can capture the active calls. And that's a very cool feature here because uh, with VoIP monitor, because it is, it is sniffing the SIP and also the RTP, uh, you can um, listen, you can see the live calls, and you can actually listen to the conversations. It has comprehensive statistics, charts, and dashboard. As you can see, um, you can create a dashboard or you can create a chart um, based on the parameters, different parameters based on the number of calls, uh, based on the MOS, quality of the calls, and a lot of, a lot of parameters or sensors that we have here, you can generate a statistics and charts and dashboards for them. And of course, then, for example, here I have created the dashboards and it shows me, for example, the number of calls, calls per second, SIP responses, and uh, you can select what you want to show in chart model. Alerting and anti-fraud, that's my favorite part because uh, you can create alerts uh, for your VoIP network and you can um, block the fraud attacks. Because, for example, uh, let me give an example. For example, here you can create an uh, alert based on the concurrent calls. For example, you are a call center that you are not 24 hours. At night, at 12 uh, midnight, you don't want, you usually don't have, for example, 
even 10 calls. So you can create a rule here based on the number of calls. And then for example, if number of calls goes higher than 10, then it will send an alert to you. It will send via email. Of course, you can then customize this email with different systems to even call you or even SMS you. Uh, so that's a very useful feature because based on the information of your VoIP network in a central place, you can detect frauds and you can detect a lot of problems and also generate alerts. Reports. We have a lot of default reports that you can use them or you can configure the reports that it will generate daily and it will send to you via email. It is multi-user and multi-role. It means that uh, imagine you have multiple pbxs or multiple c routers in your uh, environment and you have different uh, VoIP administrators who are take care of some of them. You can create a limited access that for example user A just have access to the PBX1 uh, or has access to the a specific source and destination IP address or to a specific domain. You can very um, in a high level and very detailed actually you can configure the users and access. Issue tracker. It has a ticketing system. If you already don't have a, a ticketing system in your environment, you can use this issue tracker. It's not advanced, but it is uh, good enough to use uh, if you don't have a issue tracker or a ticketing system. You can create network maps here and add the uh, rotor objects, add the uh, whatever network items that you have, and then you can uh, visualize that in your uh, system. And finally, compatibility. We want to know uh, this web monitor is compatible with which products or which solutions. Web monitor is a passive analyzer which can decode any software and hardware based SIP. So if you have any hardware or software, it doesn't really matter about the brand, you can use web monitor actually to capture and do whatever we have explained in the uh, previous slides. Web monitor is tested and used to monitor all major open source C platforms. So it, it is tested with Camellio, OpenSIPs, FreeSwitch, Asterisk, uh, etc. Voip monitor is tested and used by major uh, CPBX and SPCs. It can run on any hardware running Linux, including virtual or cloud platform. In the next videos, we will learn how to install that. And actually, I'm using DigitalOcean to install DigitalOcean virtual machines to install Voip monitor on it. So it can it really doesn't need any specific hardware. Of course, it has a minimum requirements based on your uh, throughput and load. But uh, anyway, it can be installed in anything. VoIP monitor sniffer can run directly on the Linux CPOS or as a dedicated virtual or physical hardware. That's what we have explained in the actual network topology that the sniffers can be on the same host. Of course, it has its own downside or it can be a mirror to the host or it can mirror, uh, it can listen to the mirror port of your switch. And finally, licensing cost. As I have, uh, as we have discussed, uh, the web panel is uh, commercialized and you need to uh, pay for it and the license cost uh, is here the good thing is that I wanted to mention here is that it has a 30 days trial so you can test it try it and then if you see it's matched uh, to whatever you need then uh, then use it so uh, and the pricing you can see here I will provide the link it's a, a specific link that uh, if you buy from that link if you wanted to buy then it will uh, give a commission uh, to me and then it supports the channel uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. In the next videos, we will learn how to install it, how to secure it, and how to actually sniff and use it with some open source solutions such as uh, FreeSage or Asterisk or any other uh, system that if we, if we decided that we want to work on it. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, please put in the comments and uh, have a nice day.